So in today's video, we talk about how to promote your soccer coaching business directly to parents. So one thing that we we know in our company that a lot of coaches struggle with is promoting and marketing their services to parents. So in this short video, Ben and myself are going to be sharing with you something that has worked for both of us when we first started our business something that the most successful coaches in this industry are currently doing and if you were to implement it okay it could equal thousands of extra dollars of revenue into your business per month so enjoy the video and if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content I think the most overlooked strategy, but in your area, if you can locate whatever sport you're in, all of the fields, all of the schools, where, where are the games, the tournaments, where, where's everything being played at and go spend like $20 on a polo. Like you get a polo like this, go spend Ten dollars, take it to an embroidery store, get your logo on it, mm-hmm. and this weekend go out to the fields or the gyms or the parks, wherever wherever your clients are, and just go talk to people. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of coaches like to hide behind this, right? They 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 think this is the the answer to everything. Mm-hmm. Social media is not the answer to everything, uh, and going out and and being professional and talking to people that that doesn't mean she's going to go hand out business cards or, or smash everyone's windshield with flyers. It's physically going out, talking to people, getting phone numbers, asking coaches, asking uh, team managers, if there's a way you can put on a free session for the team. I, I have done that stuff hundreds of times, especially at the beginning of my business. Like, that's how I got clients. I because I started my business before social media. It's just mm-hmm. like a long time ago. And so like physically going out and speaking with people is probably one of the fastest ways to get clients. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have to be someone who's trustworthy. And that's why if you if you have a shirt and you look professional and you talk with people of confidence. Like you could get a hundred rejections in one day, but you might talk to two people that give you their phone number and that could turn into thousands of dollars of revenue in your business. Mm-hmm. So, so what would you do then? So you, you've got to the field, because I think this is something that a lot of coaches struggle with because you, you say to them, right, okay, go out to the, go out to the pitch or the field to watch a game. But most, of, most coaches don't know what to do once they're there. Do I stand with parents? Do I stand to the side? How do I get talking with parents? What's the conversation? How do I start the conversation with the parent? Yeah. So really good question. Because I, I used to struggle with that a lot. I, I remember just showing up. There, there, were, there was a time I showed up to the field. I got so nervous when I started walking around. And I just walked back to my car and I drove home. <laughs> that's how nervous I was so the first thing is I think the most simple strategy is before you even get to the field you should write down two or three questions that make sense two or three easy questions that you could start any conversation with with, with a parent mm-hmm. like a simple conversation starter is like I could, I could walk up to any parent that's on a sideline on the sideline watching the game and I could just like sit in my chair next to them, watch the game for two minutes and then like look over and be like, Hey, this is a really good game. What's the score? Mm-hmm. Boom. He's going to tell me the score. And I'd be like, Oh, great. Like what, what team is your son? On? Cool. How long has he been playing soccer? Great. My name's Ben Neighbors. I, I own Neighbors Soccer Academy. Like, boom, like we're already into 
the conversation within five minutes, I can have them introduce me to the team manager that has access to 20 parents, emails and phone numbers. Mm-hmm. Right. So like something that's simple, it doesn't need to be me going to a conversation with like, how do I get them to be a client? Mm-hmm. It's, no, it's like, I need to talk to them like a normal person. Cause like, if I am out of the field and I have someone who's next to me and they're trying to give me crap, I'm just going to be like, dude, like this guy's annoying. But if you just, if you talk to people like a normal person, like pretty easy to have conversations like that. And you, you can only do that sort of stuff just by practicing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so that's where like starting a conversation is difficult if you are not prepared. But like what I just said will work with anybody. Mm-hmm. Even if it's someone who doesn't want to talk to you.